Hi guys, this is Crystal with Emerson Aurora Design. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Today we're going to make a Aurora Borealis tumbler using alcohol inks. This is my sanded, washed, and primed white tumbler. It's a 30 ounce tumbler that I actually am reusing. Um, it was a cup that I had had and I sanded it down. It didn't have anything on it. So I sanded it down and painted it. I want to make something pretty with it. So here I am showing different alcohol colors I'm going to use. I like to use blues and purples, a little green, pink, yellows, and uh, of course black. And I have some 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle and in my little pump. And these are my little makeup sponges that I use to apply my alcohol inks. I just cut them in half and I kind of rough up the surface so that the uh, alcohol ink application is not in square shapes. Um, so here we go. So just like with all of my alcohol ink tumblers, I start by putting the alcohol directly on the cup. Um, this is a very fluid technique. I don't have a specific pattern or shape that I'm putting the inks in. I generally start with the lightest color um, and then work my, my way back. This is, you know, you can use the colors you really love and um, put them in the order that you like. You don't have to do rainbow order. Aurora, if you've ever seen photos or videos of the Aurora Borealis, it is so beautiful and it just shifts and shimmers and there's so many colors that are in the Aurora Borealis that you could just use your imagination. Um, I like to mix the colors a little bit too to make another color and you'll see as I apply these inks, um, how pretty they blend together and uh, just kind of make this uh, my vision come to life. So here I am applying the black alcohol ink. And the reason why I start off with a white primer base um, and apply black ink to my cup instead of starting off with a black primer base is um, a couple of reasons. First of all, if you started off with a black primer base, your bright colored alcohol inks would not show through. Also, um, I feel like adding the black to the white base um, allows me to get the depth that I like um, by layering those inks. Um, you'll see, I, you know, that the black is gonna represent the dark night sky, and the night sky is very fluid um, and color shifting. Uh, it isn't complete 100% black. So I like to kind of um, layer them, layer the black on and add the colors um, in the white void spots and you'll see as I layer this through um, how much those paints kind of shift and the alcohol inks are such a wonderful medium because you can lay the inks down and they, be, they will dry and you can go back later with another up color alcohol ink and blot it over the previous layers and it reactivates it and then helps to blend.
So as you can see, um, when you're applying these inks, you want to use a blotting motion. It allows that ink to kind of create texture and make it almost look like cloud texture, um, and as opposed to using a paintbrush, which would make a different effect. Um, and you can try different, uh, different techniques. The nice thing about alcohol inks are that if you mess up, just put some regular alcohol on and it usually will dilute and you can um, add a different color if you'd like. Um, really there's no rhyme or reason with this and you can see right that yellow and that pink are such vibrant bright colors which I am going to go over and kind of change that a little bit because I feel like it's almost too bright for the look I'm going for but I'm going to continue layering and continue layering the colors till until I do um, achieve the look I'm going for. This particular cup is one of my most popular cups that I make. Um, I will be later adding a vinyl to this um, in the shape of mountains and pine trees. Uh, it'll look like silhouettes of the mountain and trees at the bottom of the cup. And I like the saying, um, adventure is calling and I must go. So I'm going to add that to this cup also, since this is my own personal cup and I love adventure and traveling. Um, so I hope you enjoy this process.
going to take the isopropyl alcohol in my mist sprayer and just lightly spray in different areas of the cup. What I do is I hold the cup kind of far away from the sprayer and I just kind of mist it into the air and let that alcohol drop on the cup. It really does a good job of making a blending of those colors as well as adding texture and what I think looks like um, kind of stars and you can kind of see it there. Um, here I am, I'm going to add some of this micro fine glitter. It's a holographic called Jazz It Up by the Glitter Craze. I'm going to add just a little bit to my resin and um, I don't want to overpower too much with the glitter. Uh, I just want it to look like stars in the sky. So I'm mixing that in here and I also added um, a very tiny amount of silver star glitter that I have and I added that also because I wanted to have um, the look of some bigger stars in the sky. I am going to add this to the full cup because my vinyl will cover at the bottom and it'll cover um, that star effect I guess you'd say uh, and it'll look like the stars are behind the mountains which that's the way it should be. So here I am adding that and enjoy! So after I pop the bubbles with my torch, I'm going to let this resin cure for 24 hours and then I'm going to put the vinyl on, which apparently I forgot to record cutting my vinyl. So here you're going to see um, the vinyl that I placed. Those are the mountains um, with the pine trees silhouette and I also added that little um, diamond shape that I'm going to put my words in later. But as you can see at the bottom of the cup there, um, there is a gap from the vinyl to the bottom. I'm going to go in with this black alcohol ink again and I'm going to show you a little trick. Um, it's okay if you have that gap at the bottom. Uh, my vinyl doesn't uh, match up completely because this is a tapered cup. So I, I add it in pieces and I just go back in with the alcohol ink, um, the same color as my vinyl which is black. And it's very forgiving. I'm going to fill in those areas there. And this is over the resin, the cured resin layer from before. Um, and this is before I resined the vinyl on. The vinyl is just placed on and then I'm going over with the alcohol ink. Um, the pinata black alcohol ink is really thick. And um, when you're, when I'm applying this in this manner, um, you can see the line from the vinyl and then the alcohol ink, obviously, you can see that. Um, but don't worry, if you try this, um, go ahead and put it on and fill in any gaps you need to with that black on um, black and you will see the magic of resin. It completely makes that line disappear. And here you can see this is where I pieced those uh, pieces of vinyl together so that it would lay flat and I'm just filling in a little gap there and there's another gap on the other side that I'm going to go in and fill um, so you don't see the line and when I apply that next layer of resin it blends so smoothly and fills in those gaps that all you see is the complete black so it looks like a continuous piece of vinyl down there.
I am writing my epoxy to go on that uh, layer, the next layer. I wanted to add a layer of resin over the vinyl here before I added my words because it gives it a 3D effect. So I'm going to put that layer of resin over this layer of vinyl. And then the next step would be for me to cut out my saying, Adventure is calling and I must go, and then I'll resin on top of that. Um, this is kind of a first person point of view with my little GoPro on my head, so excuse the uh, shaky camera. Um, I just thought it was kind of a neat angle. So I'm just going to mix up my resin and put a thin layer on and we'll be ready to place my uh, quote, clean the cup, and then it'll be done. You only come and go when you feel like it Been out it for a while but you won't commit This inconsistent love is messing with my head And it just ain't fair You know I can't fight it Wanna put my hands all over your body Ooh, and if the stars don't shine So here you can kind of see that that al black alcohol ink I added to the, the open exposed ridge of the bottom completely has disappeared. Um, or, sorry, the ridge has disappeared. So this is basically the last step of my cup. I've already added my quote, added another layer of resin on top and let it cure. Now I'm at the stage where I'm going to clean it and I have never shown you how I clean my cups. You can see that uh, alcohol ink just blended beautifully at the bottom there. So I have leftover spray paint and some epoxy that has dripped in and the way I clean my cups is that I take my sharp X-Acto knife and I just scrape around the ridge of the cup to get that extra um, epoxy that dripped um, to get that off. Be really careful when you do this. <laughs> um, it just kind of peels back like a potato peel. And then I'm going to take some acetone and uh, on a little piece of paper towel and wash that spray paint that Oversprayed into the cup and clean that up really well. And it just ain't fair. You know, I can't fight it. I can't fight it. Wanna put my hands all over your body. If you clean your cups the way I do with a little bit of acetone, be real careful not to get the acetone on the actual part of the cup with your design and the resin. It will make your resin sticky. Um, that's why I use it on the inside because it actually cleans the resin and the spray paint off. So just be real careful. Make you fall in love. Make you fall in love. And don't forget to wash your cup thoroughly with dip Dawn dish soap and water and Rinse and dry really well after this step to get all that acetone out of the cup. And 
then I always take a little bit of a fine grade sandpaper and just go along the top ridge. I'm not sanding the actual design of the cup, I'm just getting any um, bits that might be sticking up. This doesn't affect the actual design of the cup at all. And here it is. You can see that fine glitter looks like sparkling stars and I have the little star silver stars also on the cup. Such a pretty cup with a lot of depth. Um, I get so many compliments on these cups and like I said if you decide to try this yourself every cup that you make will be different from the others. Have fun, go with it, and just let your heart take wing <laughs> and create something beautiful. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video and want to see more, hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up to show me that you support, you know, you like my content. And I hope you all have a beautiful day.